Hello everyone. Today we are going to see the demo for the Adams class. This is the most commonly used class. The other names for Adams class are universal class. It is the most versatile class. It can be made on all the teeth. Anterior, posterior, posterior teeth, permanent teeth everywhere. First you straighten the wire. Parts of the Adams class for the bridge, two arrowheads and two retentive arms. First I am going to make the bridge of the Adams. First we make a 90 degree bend. I prefer to make it slightly more than that. Then the length of the bridge should be 3 4 the missive distal width of the teeth. So full missive distal width. Okay. I am going to mark 3 4 the missive distal width. Here also first make a 90 degree bend. Bend it slightly more so then the OS cross each other like an X. Next, I'm going to make the arrow heads. Using the rounded round beak of the player, hold the wire close to the player and make a U loop like this. Here also, make another U loop. Make it in such a way so that the wires cross each other like X. Next step is to compress the U-loop on both the sides. Okay. Then hold it at the junction of the bridge and the arrowhead and make a 45 degree bend. While bending, make sure you are bending only the bridge. This wire shouldn't be touched. Just make a 45 degree bend like this. Okay. On the other side, hold the player in your left hand. Check for the adaptation in the model. The arrow should be resting in the mesial and distal undercuts. Next step is the most important step. You have to make a bend from half the height of the arrowhead. Thing is like I am going to hold it at the center of the U here and bend it. Yes. Hold the wire, hold it at the center of the U. Make sure the wire is parallel to the player and facing you. Put the player firmly. You can bend parallel to the bridge first. Okay. Then move it slightly towards the teeth. This side also. Hold it at the center of the U. You can bend first parallel to the bridge. Then bend it towards the teeth. Should make sure the length should be the height should be less than the height of the this thing. Check for the adaptation on the model. Okay. Then mark the point where it is touching the teeth. Again, mark it where it is touching the model.
then you can give the return to tag things you have to see is like the arrow it should be resting in the mesial and distal undercuts and when you see it from the side the arrow it should be at an angle the bridge should be at an angulation of 45 degree to the long axis of the deal should be properly adapted there shouldn't be any occlusal interference okay i prefer to adapt one side first then go to the other side so it will be easy for you i adapted distally now i'm going, I'm going to adapt mesial hold it in the ideal position like this Again, mark the point where it is touching the teeth and start adapting. It takes a soya. side the bridge should be at an angulation of 45 degree to the long axis of the teeth okay arrowheads are resting in the mesial and distal undercuts up closely it should be well adapted and the return job should be adapted Problem. thank you